Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a really quick pick a card on how do they feel about you. We have three piles to choose from. Pile one, two, and three. Choose a number, number one, number two, or number three. Choose a number or numbers that you see when you close your eyes. Take a deep breath, relax. What number do you see in your mind's eye? That is your pile. So let's see, we're going to get started. Really quick reading. How do they feel about you? guy, girl, whoever you're thinking about, friend, relationship, family member, whoever. How do they feel about you? Pile one, pile two, and pile three. We're going to get started with pile one. So let's see, pile one, those of you who chose number one, how do they feel about you, whoever they're thinking about for the collective spirit? How do they feel about pile one? They feel like no guarantees, a second chance, Someone sees that you are being strong, that you see the truth about something and someone and how they are and who they are. Someone knows they can't lie, they can't hurt you. Someone knows that you are standing up for yourself and they need to either surrender or you will not be with this person anymore. They know you're going through a transformation with a Scorpio death card here. I'm also getting something what that is telling you the truth about who this person is and how they are. So overall message here with the Seven of Swords at the bottom. I feel like you know that this person isn't right for you and how do they feel about you that you're going through changes because you're standing up for yourself you're going through a transformation but it is for the better they feel that you're going to let them go because you have met someone else or you are choosing yourself i'm hearing that song from ariana grande thank you next what is how does she say where she meets like um and she says this one's gonna last because her name is ari where she's basically saying like she's going to just focus on herself and love herself People are realizing, whoever this is, um, they feel that you're going to cut them out of their life because you're standing up for yourself. That's how they feel, that they're on like a really thin tightrope and you're probably going to either leave this person if they do not change for the better because you've already given them enough chances and this person feels like you're probably going to cut them out of your life. Pile one. That's what I'm seeing. So let's see. Please like and subscribe. Let's get into pile number two. Personal reading, Moonlight Shadows 1111 at gmail.com. Pile two, how do they feel about you? Pile two, pile two, pile two, how do they feel about you? Pile two. The Queen of Swords wanted to come out. They feel that you're a very strong person. They also feel that you're healing. They also feel that they love to be with you. I'm hearing oil and water. So you guys could be very different. Maybe one is very, I'm hearing one's very bougie. <laughs> the other one is like very bougie. Someone is like, <laughs> They're very animated because I feel like someone's making a funny voice like a cartoon character. Like, you're bougie. Like, someone's just, like, saying, like, you guys are very different. One can be very fancy. The other one can be very down to earth. Um, one can be very picky. And the other one can just be very chill and just, like, open for anything. So, I feel like you guys are complete opposites. I'm getting that old song from Paula Abdul, Opposites Attract. You guys can be different nationalities. You guys can be raised differently. You guys can be different, yeah, skin color. Or you guys could just have, like, one has blue eyes, the other one has brown eyes. Or hazel, green eyes, brown eyes. Like, you guys have different colors. Um, like, you guys don't match is what I'm getting. Like, it's a mismatch. Maybe you guys have different ages. Yeah, there's an age gap. Like, you guys are different, but this person feels like, for some weird-ass reason... And they don't understand why they're very drawn to you they're very attracted to you and you are very attracted to them too the feeling is mutual here the universe is aligning you guys together i'm hearing that song from is it echo smith or echo bright i can't remember where it's like um i think you and the moon and neptune got it right and now i'm shining bright so bright and I get lost in your eyes tonight. Did you and Jupiter conspire to save me? Yeah, like this person is in La La Land with you. You make me go, ooh, la la la. <laughs> Dude, you made someone fall in love, pile too. Oh my God, this is love. I don't know who this is, but this is love. They think you're an angel. They love you. They have strong feelings. They don't understand why they have feelings for you. They don't want to love you because you're so different. They have like this whole perfect perception of their ideal partner and you are nothing like that. It's like, hello, soulmate. Like the, you just like, what? Like this person doesn't understand how you make them feel so good. Like they don't understand. Like maybe they like blondes and you're a brunette or vice versa. No offense to anyone out there, but it's like you are like nothing like what they want maybe they like really petite 
women or guys and you're the opposite you're very curvy or voluptuous or you have broad shoulders like you're the opposite of what they usually go for and they don't understand why they're so drawn to you but it's like the heart knows what it wants like you feel their soul their energy and you're you can't not want them like (laughs) your aura your energy your spirit guides like you're they're telling you to go for this person and vice versa and they're feeling that too this energetic pool towards you there's like a tug of war here but this person wants you they want you and they love you and they can't wait to be with you again so that's how they feel about you pile two very beautiful reading lots of love songs (laughs) or you could be hearing love songs like this is your soulmate they want you all right, pal three, how do they feel about you, pal three, for the collective spirit? Please show me clearly for the collective. This is a timeless reading. How do they feel about you, pal three? Personal readings, infos in the description box below. You can email me. Pile three, how do they feel about you, pal three? How do they feel about the collective that shows pal three? I heard you're my best friend. <laughs> you, okay, so this is could be a friendship. It could be platonic. It could be romantic. You guys can be friends and then it becomes like something more. Um, this person loves to be with you. You make their, um, energy just like go through the roof. You create this like high vibrational feeling towards them. They really like to be with you. You make them very happy. You also heighten each other's spiritual gifts because there's a crow that just flew like right in front of my car on the roof. So it's like the rooftop. So yeah, you got your guys's crown chakra. Your spiritual gifts are elevated together. This could be a best friend. Um, this could be someone who makes you feel very happy mind body and spirit you align each other's aura or your energetic field like you guys are just very happy together um this could be friends for some of you guys it's a friendship for others of you guys it's a relationship but it starts out as a friendship and it becomes more than that yeah for the ace of swords that's the truth so you guys start out as friends talking about mutual interests or somehow some way like it becomes more than friendships and i'm seeing someone be like oh my god i think i really love them i think i need to tell them i've caught feelings like it could be a friends with benefits for some not all but others of you it's just like a friend and they're starting to catch feelings the way she's like dipping her toe in the water like this person is slowly starting to catch emotions for you maybe they didn't want to believe it or they didn't want to feel that and they keep themselves busy or they're constantly go 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 or this is you but i feel like someone here is always busy but they're realizing that you're the one they like you and they want to have you in their life and they're going to be expressing some type of communication about how you're such a great person like this person will be praising you somehow some way and they're going to tell you that they're very grateful that you are in their life this person is very sweet loving kind and gentle could be a cancer Pisces, scorpio placement anywhere in their natal chart or this is yours but i feel it's them and then with the swords um aries oh i heard aries um gemini libra aquarius um but there's communication here about like hey let's go out let's hang out like they love to be around you and i do see that in the future you guys love each other and you want to be with each other so your spirit guides also have another message to do a meditation because i feel like you guys have a telepathic connection because my water bottle just popped as i was saying that so i feel like you have a telepathic connection with this person this could be soul family um for some of you guys it could be relationships for others of you guys um it could be yeah you guys have a telepathic communication look at that the two of swords and then the two of cups was sticking out so this could be a relationship and it is like you guys are supposed to balance each other out you guys could be twin flames but i do see a soul family type of thing here um this person is could be getting readings on on you (laughs) this person's trying to figure out why they like you so much or why they're so drawn or so happy around you this person is spiritual and you're spiritual the universe um is bringing you guys together because you both could be going through something very chaotic or like traumatic at the moment um whatever you guys are doing it's like you guys are are healing each other i heard you're gonna go out somewhere i don't know who that is but yeah judgment is being called this person is almost sent to you from your guides um to help you to heal you and this person is like i feel like you guys have are gonna have a strong bond i don't know like you guys could be star seeds but that's what i have for you pal three let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i send you many blessings bye guys